Hello. How's it going? You can see every single spot on my face. I'm having an outbreak. It's not great. But today I bring you a great video today. Highly anticipated by you viewers, specifically Czech Republicans, if that's what you call them. So today we are reviewing a drink. This is called Kofala. I can't it's hard to put down how many times Johnny has told me to buy this bloody drink. He said it is a great rival to Coca-Cola in English, American, whatever you want to call it. And I'm very excited to try it. So I'm going to grab my glass, my virgin cola glass. I didn't clean it because I am a disgusting boy. And we're going to fill it with coffee. And before we do anything i'm actually going to smell it because smelling coffee is the best thing i can do right now so let's have a little whiffy with it shall we oh my boys and girls this is really hard to pinpoint okay so what it smells like to me is a combination of, I don't know if you guys have tried this unless you're from, I don't know if this is just an English thing, but it, it smells like dandelion and burdock combined with licorice, which is really strange. I've looked up what's inside this drink, and it is a whole host of different um, fruits, um, syrups, everything like that. It's Significantly more healthy than Coke, but obviously it's not super, super um, healthy. One thing I like to think of this drink is it seems like the type of drink... This is just from not like just looking at it. It seems like the type of drink that probably tastes pretty bad, but it probably has amazing health benefits. <laughs> but we're going to try it now, and we're going to see. So let's see if I can, they can prove me wrong, okay? So this is a freshly opened bottle. Let me do it. Do not tip this, whatever you do. Okay. Oh, shit. I tipped it. Oops. We're going to do a lip. That is not a shot. That is not a shot of coffee. But uh, it's good enough to down it in one. Okay? That was the worst tipping I... Hello. Sorry, I saw myself in the reflection of the... Oh my god, what is wrong with my face? Oh! No, I'm going to drink it now. And we're going to give it one more whiff, just because... Good time's sake. Yeah, it still smells like dandelion and burdock combined with licorice. So, let's try it. Oh my... I don't know why it looks like I'm, I'm looking to God for answers about this drink. Oh my goodness me. This is... This might be one of the most strangest drinks I've ever tasted. Okay, right. Let me give you a rundown. So, again, I'm going to show you the bottle. Coffala. Uh, imported straight from the Czech Republic. Um, <sighs> how I feel about this drink. It doesn't taste bad. Let me get that out of the way. It doesn't taste bad. It's one of those drinks. You know what type of drinks I'm talking about. Where you drink it. Sorry, that was a bad um, hand gesture to do for that. You drink it, and it tastes healthy. It tastes like it gives you, like it would give you health benefits. However, I can't say for sure if the taste is good or bad. It's such a weird flavour. I, I literally, the smell, yeah, it smelled like that dandelion and burdock and licorice. But the taste... It's undescribable. 
it feels like such a mishmash of so many things. It's really strange. It has this effect. I don't know if it would just be me. Maybe it is the same thing in Czech Republic. But my lips, it has like a weird aftertaste that for some reason makes my lips really tingly. And I don't know why. Um, if any of you who are watching the drink coffee, um, you could tell me if I'm right about saying that. I don't know. Um, if you are someone who is not from Czech Republic, I feel like you should buy this drink purely just to experience what I've tasted today. I, I like it's extremely popular, so a lot of people like it. But I bet you it seems to be one of those drinks that just probably hits home really hard with a lot of people. But for some people, some people probably hate it. But I'm in this weird grey area where I just don't know. If I was to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it a 6. And that is a respectable 6. Because it tastes like it's above average. If you gave me the option to drink it, I would drink it. But it's nothing... Amazing, incredible, not like the best drink I've ever tasted, but it tastes interesting enough to make me want to try it again. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed my little review, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Alright? Farewell.